New at 11 tonight, dozens of SeaTac residents gathered in Virginia Beach to hear how their home could soon have a historic district designation. Lots of fam familiar faces grew up in that neighborhood, like Grammy Award-winning musician Pharrell Williams and State Senator Aaron Rouse. And the community has a robust history dating back to the end of the Civil War, and some residents say this designation is a welcome one. Sarah Hammond has the story. This is a process that's been in the work since 2020, when the National Park Service announced a grant to recognize underrepresented communities to add to the National Register of Historic Places. SeaTac could soon become one of those places. The community in Virginia Beach is one of the oldest African American communities in the United States, and with that designation comes a lot of history. This community wasn't a plan or a laid out community, but it was hewed out street by street, home by home, road by road, and we evolve. Sharon Felton says she's the fifth generation in her family to live in SeaTac, a community settled by African Americans after the Civil War. Close to 100 years later, after World War II, several residents chartered the first uniquely African American fire department in the U.S. No other group has existed like it since. Unlike a lot of neighborhoods, SeaTac has a lot of intact, good integrity resources and, it, and it's a strong district. Because of that history, the community is nominated to receive a historic district designation by the Virginia Board of Historic Resources, a designation Barbara Old says is overdue. But as a community, we're excited. I'm excited. I think it's a great idea and an opportunity. While the boundaries of the designation don't include homes or buildings built sometime after the 1970s, it touches historic cemeteries, churches, and old Older homes, but it's an honorary title that recognizes the whole community. It is a robust uh, community. It still is, and it, it will continue to be. Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. The next step will be to present the nomination to the Virginia Board of Historic Resources on December 14th.